Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? We're back on YouTube. Not that we ever left. Don't be weird, bro, man. Um, so a lot of you have been asking, and uh, I feel like it's time to uh, to do it, to do it to it. Let's use the right template, huh? Shall we? Uh, it's time to look at Monster Hunter World on PC. Now, uh, a lot of you played Monster Hunter when it came out originally on PS4, especially if you were a longtime Monster Hunter fan, but a lot of you have been waiting for the PC launch because, you know, you're like, hey, bro, man, listen, I, I have a PC. I don't have any consoles. And I get that. Um, also, it's the f one of the first times um, that the Monster Hunter experience has been on um, <clears throat> PC. So I just wanted to sort of run you through it, answer some general questions and, and give you my review after, you know, the 20, 20, 10, 20 hours I played. Um, so it's still the same game. Uh, it's still Monster Hunter World. Yay. Uh, you know, it's it's fun. It's exciting. Primary differences between console and PC is you can run it at 60 FPS um, <laughs> and any sort of uh, resolution you want. A tip, though, for those of you that are, you know, maybe having some CPU issues, this game is very, very hard on your um, on your CPU, which is what I've been hearing. Uh, so the number one piece of advice I can get to kind of squeeze performance out is you want to go down here to where is it at, bro, man? Oh, you lost it. Why you lost it. You lost it, bro, man. Oh, volume quality rendering. And you just want to turn it off. You can see like there's this haze that's everywhere, right? Um, you get a cleaner picture without it and uh, you almost immediately get another 10 to 20 frames. So I'd highly recommend that. Um, you know, it's the same it's the same Mon Hunt game that you either loved or were interested in. Um, the other questions, big, big questions I've been getting um, have been, hey, uh, bro man, what, what the fuck is up with the... Uh, the mouse and keyboard controls. Now, um, I'm a fan of the mouse and keyboard controls. I think they're all right. Um, the reviews of people that I have uh, that have picked this up and only played it on on PC, um, those folks uh, have really been enjoying the uh, you know the mouse and keyboard experience, being able to dodge and then immediately look behind you feels really cool. Uh, I don't feel like you have to play on mouse and keyboard if you want. But I don't think that's the real question. I think the real question is, hey, can I play on mouse and keyboard? And if I play on mouse and keyboard, is it going to suck butts? Uh, and the answer is no, it won't suck butts. It'll actually be great. <laughs> you're going to you're going to have a good time on uh, on Mon Hunt on PC. If you're playing with mouse and keyboard, it's a it's a really good experience. Uh, it works out really well. I was concerned that there was going to be a sort of like Dark Souls port issue where if you were playing with mouse and keyboard on PC, it was just a million times worse uh, than just sort of doing whatever you want. Uh, that is not the case, which I think is fantastic. Um, so if you're looking for mouse and keyboard controls, they're solid. If you're looking for, uh, you know, if you're looking to say, hey, does my controller still work? Obviously, it feels just as good, if not better. Um, <laughs> comparatively. I am a huge fan of this series, and if you have been sort of waiting to check it out on PC and you're wondering, like, hey, bro, man, is this worth the full price? Is this worth, you know, what I'm going to invest in it? Like, I don't want to buy DLCs, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, everything. Ooh, I just finished this. That's great. It'll be good good to start the stream. Um, you know, I, you don't know much about the Monster Hunter franchise because you've been playing it on. Uh, you've never played it before. It's the first time on PC. Uh, Monster Hunter updates a lot. There are very frequent events that have really cool and interesting re rewards, new hunts that you can go on and engage in pretty frequently as well. Uh, and all of that stuff comes for free. Uh, the only sort of, I guess, and this is a mega rumor uh, that's going around about Monster Hunter is they might bring out what's called G rank, which is the highest rank of, of uh, hunts right now. There's just low and high rank. Uh, there's rumors they might bring out G rank and G rank might be like a, a paid DLC, but I wouldn't worry about that. I think that you can get the you get so much bang for your buck. If Monster Hunter turns out to be your kind of game, uh, it's got one to two to three thousand hours in it. Uh, there are folks when I back when I played Monster Hunter try that. I mean, it was all they did was just build perfect sets and they, you know, they spent fucking 
I don't know, 2,000 hours in the game, and every time a new Monster Hunter comes out, they can't wait to jump back in. Uh, if you are a loot-driven player, if you are the player who likes to min-max specs, or even if you're a casual player that just wants to get big hammers and smash things in the face, Monster Hunter World is probably the best casual Monster Hunter experience. There's a lot of more complicated systems that they left out for you. Um, you know, you auto craft a lot of stuff when you pick it up on the field. Uh, you know, you're provided potions, etc. <clears throat> you know, at the beginning of every fight. And all this stuff adds up to a really great game that's incredibly approachable without a lot of the usual warnings that I would give to people that say things like, be careful, you know, Mon Hunt's really complicated. You're going to get frustrated because you're going to run out of things or you're not, you're going to have to leave and restart a bunch of different quests because you won't have the right loadout, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a lot of things like that that have been, um, I, would, I don't want to say dumbed down. They've been, they've just been uh, curated. So that way you don't have to get, you know, like they've basically taken out the downtime of like, oh, I shit, I have to leave and get ready for this hunt again. Um, it's curated to a point where if you fuck up, if you forget one or two things, you don't have to run and start your whole hunt over. You just take a little quick break and then you, and you're done. You need a little quick break, head back, get in your, get in your, uh, get, go to your camp and then you're all, you're all set for the hunt. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other really important stuff that I wanted to cover on Mon Hunt PC. Uh, is it worth it at whatever X price is currently? Yes. Um, in my opinion, Monster Hunter has been and always will be one of the strongest dollar value games um, for you. Uh, if you, if it's your shit, uh, if it's not your shit, don't buy it. But if it is uh, and you want to know if it is, you can watch my stream or you can watch literally any other Monster Hunter stream. Go in there, ask some questions. It's one of the nicest communities on the planet. It's right up there with, you know, how nice the folks in the Warframe community are. Um, I really recommend picking it up on on PC. It's a it's a great time. So good that I'm willing to replay it again, which is apparently the 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 core of most of my reviews right now is you won't believe it. I had to start all the way over. Uh, no Man's Sky, Sean, uh, but I still love the game. So there you go, folks. That's my uh, Monster Hunter PC re-review. Uh, I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, share it with your grandma, whatever you want to do. Check the links below the stream for all the fun stuff, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.